Hey everyone, welcome back to another podcast episode. As you might have seen on Instagram or other platforms, we are currently in China as this is being recorded, and we do like to be able to work from different places, a new energy, change of scenery. And thankfully, because our work is remote and it's not tied to a location, we have the ability to do that. So I'm going to have a bit of a chat with Cami today. We're going to talk about a few things related to this topic and just see how the conversation flows. So, Cami, let's get into it. We both work together. We do slightly different jobs, but we are a team.、Um, how do you feel about the idea of traveling and working? I actually love it. I love having that flexibility of being able to work from home from the living room, work <laughs> from the home office, or work from a country in a completely different continent. Yes. So being able to combine that is really, really nice. The only thing is, when we go on a trip, I think、um, we never really see it as a proper vacation or holiday.、Mm. We see it more as a little workation. In But in、sense. this trip, we did. In this in trip, this we trip, did. Partially, yes. We decided we took some days where we said these days are just for relaxing or exploring. And then, for example, today we just said this is just a full work day, of recording, editing,、yes. admin stuff. So, but it's only been one or two days, and I think it's a bit of a lifestyle choice that we have decided to do. So、yes. we are also vlogging our trip and our daily things. That's a choice that we made. So I don't consider that work. I consider that enjoyment enjoyable, even though that is work, right? So we choose to live our life in this way. Definitely. I mean, now about the vlogging part, that is more of a hobby. I realize that I really, really enjoy doing that, and、yeah. I, I, it felt very natural.、It、didn't feel like, like work at all. Yeah. And I, it's. I think I'm not the right person to speak about this because our work doesn't feel like work to me anyway. No. It's <laughs> I true. just enjoy doing what we do. So, yes, it's true. I want to circle back to the vlogging part, but I will just say I get what you mean. For me, I think the break that I need is not from work, but when you do a lot of classes, it can be a bit mentally draining. Yeah, you need to be very、idea. focused, very sharp for the whole hour, and you obviously have many hours in the day. So that's what I need. But when it comes to the vlogging, Cami, can you explain what the original reason was why we decided to do that? Well, we love traveling. We have kind of. Discovered that for us that we really enjoy being in a different culture, we get more creative while doing、yes. that. So it actually also really, really fosters our work and helps us improve and find new ideas. But we also feel like because we do so much in such short <laughs> in such short time, let's say we tend to go on trips really、um, close、frequently. to each other frequently. Yes, that and because of our life just being so hectic during the during a normal. Day-to-day activities. It's not that we forget about the trips, but you don't think back as much. So we thought that it would be a really cool thing to just vlog them, to have them、yeah. as a memory, and to maybe watch watch back on them. And the other day we were watching a bit of the raw footage yes, before it was even edited. And it was super、edited. funny. And it was so much fun. And we even said, "Oh, we don't remember that exact moment, but、yes. watching it." We look back. We look back, and then remember, and it was just a really cool and fun thing to do. Definitely, it's it's another level to the photo albums that my parents made and kept, and that I still have from them. Yeah.、Um, and this is like two point oh. So we're doing this for our own history to look back on it and to enjoy it for ourselves, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Definitely, and I'm really excited to see the end product. So we have quite a few vlogs now. Yeah. They won't be posted on this account though. No way. They'll be secretly put somewhere else. Um, if、I'm、you find them, let us know. <laughs> yeah, good luck if you find them.、Uh, and I would just say that it's a bit. Of, the only thing I could say is I could look back and think, oh, so many things that we didn't vlog, so many first experiences.、Yeah. But better late than never. And it, and that's a good point where to say, just because you didn't start early doesn't mean that that's a reason not to start now. Like there is a very famous quote, which is, "The best time to plant a tree was 30 years ago. The second best time is today." So just begin, even if you started late. Better late than never. Also, you don't want in a year's time to look back and think,、oh, "Why didn't I start then?" Yeah, that, exactly, exactly. Hundred. Just start. Hundred percent. Just do no it. No matter what you think, just start. Agreed. Agreed. So yeah, thinking we, about the like the relaxing side of things when it comes to traveling, it's hard to separate holiday and workcation. True, but how much relaxing do you do, Cami, when we're in a new place? I think it depends. I mean, this trip, for example, we did have a layover of 
one to two days in Dubai. And there, I do think we did a lot of relaxing. Yeah. We mainly stayed at the hotel. We went to the pool. You even fell asleep by the pool. I fell asleep twice by the pool. Yes, in one day, in two days. Yeah. <laughs> so you you ha you took a nap, something that you hadn't done in ages. So I think that that is something that you need every now and then. And I don't mean you need to do nothing for a week because I don't think we need that either. But to have the possibility to do it once or twice yeah. is already enough to be recharged and feel like you've relaxed. Yeah. And even in Shanghai, which we went after Dubai, Hong Kong, Shanghai, after that, I fell asleep during one of the days yes. in the middle of the day. So I feel like I was able to disconnect. Yeah. And it depends on the purpose of the trip. As Cami said, this one was more of a holiday. So I feel like we had the opportunity to relax a bit. But you just said disconnect. So what do you consider relaxing? Do you think that relaxing and disconnecting is the same thing? Similar. For me, it, it is because a lot of the tiredness is mental. So yeah. if I'm constantly switched on, I'm physically and mentally tired. But if I just forget about all of the things I have to do for a while, I'm able to recharge my batteries. And I think most of the time when I'm tired or irritated or stressed, it's there's a mental load True. On, on me, you know? That is a really, really good point because that's actually something that we've spoken about a lot, yeah. that sometimes you need to be able to just switch off from work, yes. which is really difficult when your work and private life are so mixed up. Yeah, yeah definitely. And that's also why we say that getting into a new change a change of scenery is good mm. because if you're stuck in your own home with your office and everything it's really hard for me to not go into the office and just sit down by at the computer at the desk or the living room or the living room we're always like just grab the laptop yeah. do something even if it's just answering messages where, but when you're in a new environment even if there's not much to do it's a new space which means new habits new mm. new actions and it's easier to disconnect look at Look at our recent Italy trip. So we went yes. to Italy about a month ago yes. and we went for a week on a workation. On a workation. Which means that, yes, we were in Italy, but we worked no the normal hours as always, yes. which is always crazy. Yeah. We did have a few moments during the day where we went out for lunch. We just maybe, ran out like, literally. to get a pizza or something. But I did notice that there I noticed that you didn't use your phone or you weren't working as much on your phone from bed yeah. as you do it at home. Um, Agreed. Yes, True. we worked from the living room in Italy, but because we didn't have any other room. But I did feel like there was a bit of that separation. I agree. I agree. And it was mainly because it yeah. was a new a new env environment. Yeah, and, and you were just like able to escape a little bit. Mm. Um, and it, for me, sometimes it consumes me. Like yeah. I can't switch off. I find it so difficult. And I remember the week before we came here on holiday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I would finish work at eight or nine, lie on the bed with my laptop, and I'd be doing different things. So mm. I would never be switching off. However, here, I'll watch a movie, I'll watch a show, we'll talk, we'll watch some videos, some reels. Like, I don't really think about it. It's come into play a bit more the past couple of days because I've got my courses starting next week, so I have to organize them. But it's not been that big of a deal, to be honest. Also because you're going to start work literally the day after we arrive. So yeah. we land tomorrow night. Yes. Which is Thursday. Thursday night. And Friday morning, you're starting work again. But so. it doesn't feel bad to me. Like you, most people would say, you land on Thursday night, don't work till Monday. That's the natural thing, right? But for me, I feel like I've had a really good break and I do kind of want to, like I want to get back into it because I've rested for a while. But I also think the difference is that when you work for someone else, yes, it's you have the security of, yeah, okay, I don't work. No, but I mean it. I don't work one day, but it doesn't matter because I'll get paid anyway. The company anyway. will still continue rolling forward. Exactly. But if you work for yourself, but everything depends on you. Yeah. Um, it's a different type of responsibility. And I honestly appreciate it. And I'm not saying it's negative. No. Ob obviously, some people are made for this. Some people are not made for this Some people are clearly lifestyle. not, and they've been honest about that. And that's totally fine. Yeah. But when you know that it's on you, and if you don't work, things are not going to <laughs> roll the way you want them to. You just accept it and you do it and you're yeah. fine with it, especially exactly. if you enjoy your work like we do. Exactly. And it gives you the freedom of choosing when you go on holiday, when you do something. You just got to be clear in your mind. And we could go on about this for a long <laughs> time, but I'm just going to ask a final kind of question, which is how do you like to travel, Cami? Uh, what do you enjoy doing when, when you're traveling? Well, I guess it depends. We have never been on a trip, but we've said this is just pure relaxing, as in let's go to a resort in, a, in no. Fiji. Or we've never done a resort, <laughs> uh, uh, and we haven't had that type of trip yet, but I think we're getting close to it, yeah. or closer. Yeah, especially because we've been working. And 
I kind of feel like our trips can be a bit tiring sometimes. Yeah, agreed. I'm not saying it's negative. I'm no. not saying I don't want that anymore. I'm just saying that sometimes I feel like, oh, I need a holiday for my holiday. Agreed. Or I not... think everyone feels that. Yes. But I agree. So I think we're getting closer and closer to the point where we will eventually do that. Of Let's take five days and literally just lie by the pool no or the internet. beach and not, not do nothing. anything. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Yes. Um, so I would say it depends, but I am a big fan of city trips. I'm a fan of just seeing... Walking being 10K in, every day. Exactly, being the hustle and bustle of a city and, and exploring the the people, what they do, how they dress, how they speak, what they eat. Yes. Yeah. So I Agreed. would say just by being fully immersed is my favorite way of traveling. What about you? I agree with you. I think the reason that we've had kind of quite tiring trips sometimes in the past was because... We traveled because we really wanted to and we would find a way to travel. If that meant taking crazy flights, we did it. You know, one mm -hmm. time we flew to Abu Dhabi, we stopped in Kutaisi in Georgia, 12, 15 hours there, then we flew to Abu Dhabi. The, it's not the easiest way and it's not the smoothest way of getting to that location, but we did it because that was an option that allowed us to travel. Now, as time's going on, we're finding better ways of traveling that are more relaxing. I like both. I don't like just sitting somewhere by the beach or by the pool for two weeks, topping up my tan. I go crazy. I would start working because I wouldn't enjoy that. I like to work out. I like to read. I like to see new things, try new food. So it's finding a balance. Mm. However, as Cami said, you need the time to do nothing. But that could be two or three days yeah. over two weeks. That doesn't have to be the whole holiday. This has been nice because we've had some days where we've done nothing, but we've also walked a lot, you know, but during this time. I really enjoy that because yeah. you've been working out at the gym. You've been doing your weights and running. I did bring quite a few workout clothes yeah. with me because I had that, pla that planned. But I do really, really love walking. So yeah, I feel like do. that type of exercise is something that, unfortunately, I don't get to do as much because of our during job. the day because of, yeah. it's a very sedentary job. Yeah. Mine, at least, for sure, you could... Well, you have your standing desk. You could stand. I could do. But I like walking. <laughs> I don't like just standing yeah, like a standing statue. Yeah, standing is boring. Yes. But walking is just... I love walking. So that is one thing I really, really like about our trips. Definitely. We definitely. always walk so much. It's very active. Um, I think this has been a lot of fun. And we could dive deeper into this many points. But let's wrap it up. Forgive me. <laughs> forgive happened? me. <laughs> it was a bit of the chocolate repeating on me. Forgive me. Let's wrap it up for now, Cami. That was lovely. We'll, we'll go into some more maybe over the, in the next few days. This was a lot of fun. Let us know, guys, if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions for Cami, any questions for me, let us know. And we'll see you in the next one, I guess. Well, and tell us if you have any certain yeah. topics you'd like us to cover. We're always open to any requests. Yeah, we're quite talkative. I mean, I could, I'm actually a bit sad that you just said, let's wrap it up because I could keep, just keep talking. Me too. Me too. We'll keep talking off camera. Yeah. Okay. Well, try to find the vlog channel and maybe then you can hear us just <laughs> well, talk about actually, stuff. Actually, that's not the case because you'll hear this, this podcast much earlier than when the vlogs will be up. So who knows? If, maybe who... I'll be working now. Oh, okay. She's keeping you in suspense, guys. I don't think you'll find it for the next couple of weeks, but if you do, <laughs> good luck. See you in the next one, guys, and bye for now. Bye for now.